I'm looking out from my window. Sun's coming up like the day before. You're like a stone on my pillow. I don't make a sound when I shut. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So this is my first official fall video for 2023. Now, my intentions was to come home, get dinner. The girls was doing pizza, you see right there. I was doing salmon. I grabbed from, I think I grabbed it from Trader, right? And a little cauliflower rice. I was going to be good to go. Get a little nourishment and start the decor. Girl, it did not work out like that. I just did the meal because I was starving. And once I finished eating, it was a wrap. I could not even function after that. So I did um, still want to show you what I was making. Um, I just, like I said, I bought a piece of salmon from Trader. Hubby does not eat this. So that was fine. But I'm throwing, you know, all I use on here is steak seasoning. That steak seasoning goes on everything. I'm telling you, I love it so much. And you guys know I break my butter up. I cut it into tablespoons because I feel like that's what recipes call for. So I just cut it that way. And yeah, throw the butter on top. Throw it in the air fryer. 400, I think, for about 12 minutes or so and i'm good to go so while that was cooking the cauliflower rice was in the microwave right so just kind of throwing it all into that sack towel so i can get all this water off look at that girl oh my goodness and it was so hot it was so hot but yes throwing that back in right i'm gonna throw some butter in there a little bit of the seasoning in there and i'm good to go So with the cauliflower rice now, I throw a little bit more seasoning like some adobo and things like that along with the steak seasoning. I don't want to overpower my salmon ever. It just, you know how salmon is. It just has that taste and all I need is my steak seasoning on there. It is fire. Oh my goodness. It is fire. If I could hear my father's voice, he would tell me to move on. Say I'll be just fine Yeah He would tell me we have time Time to laugh and time to heal A favorite song is on Oh my goodness, look at this. And it was so good. That seasoning was on point. So I tossed that to the side for a minute. I wanted to put away the extra cauliflower rice. That's the container, the puzzle container that I grabbed from Aldi's. And it fit in there perfectly. Yes. But girl, let's get to this fall. I am so excited about this season. Just I'm ready for all the orange, all of this nice little cooler weather and everything. I'm just ready for it. And once the girls go back to school, for me, it is all the way fall. So I always start by washing up all of the throws and a little pillow so they'll be, you know, nice and fresh and smelling all good for me. Drinking wine until the dawn. So this was something I started last year. You guys know I always talk about my space in my bedroom. This is my space. And it's just nobody else goes in there but me. Well, Carol come in there and sit in the big chair sometimes. But that is really my space where I can chillax and just get away from some things for a little bit. And I want it from now on moving forward to be cozy for me and so like last year I'm starting in the bedroom so I'm always over here <laughs> on the bed with the sheets and everything but I grabbed new sheets and a comforter for this year I just wanted to go a little bit further than my space this year with the fall so yes 
and I'm just using the spray from Bath and Body Works. It's like a sleep scent, like a lavender or something, just something that's going to, you know, make me comfortable and, you know, nice smells. And I got such nice feels with this sheet set. It As soon as I put it on, I was like, yes, this is exactly what I wanted. I want to walk in my bedroom and just see, just fall yes this is my space and i want to be so comfortable in this space so yes on the comforter i'm loving this set all the way and it is the exact same comforter that i had on the bed they just have different shades and I was so happy they had like a fally color so it was perfect. Oh my goodness, I was so excited about about putting the bedding on. I forgot to wipe down the two nightstands which I had did it a couple days ago, so it wasn't crazy, but you know, when you're doing new things, you want a clean space. So, and I was going to, I was debating on whether I was going to put a couple things on a nightstand. So I was like, girl, just wipe it down. You see me? Girl, I'm watching Young and the Restless. You know, Victor doing some things. And I was like, oh my goodness. I was focused on that, focusing on trying to get the decor done. It was a whole thing, but you knew Young and the Restless was playing in the background. Yes. Do you guys have a bunch of pillows on your bed that actually stay on your bed when you're sleeping? I mean, not the decorative ones that I'll do too, that come off the bed, you know, off to the side. But these right here with the chamois shams and everything, they actually stay on the bed. Girl, because all four of these things stay on my bed. He only needs one, I need the three. I'm like propped up on two, then my like actual pillow is on top of that. And then I have like one of the shams going across my feet. And guess what? Kara sleeps the same way. It's so funny. So I grabbed these pillows now. I think they're like the 12 by 18 ones, like more of a rectangle shape. You know, I have the other ones, like the 12 by 12s, square ones that I use, you know, with the pillow covers and all. But I wanted like the smaller ones, smaller, longer ones. And yeah, so I grabbed those from Amazon. Did they come for in a pack? I think so. Let me see. Yeah, I think they did. They came four in a pack. I used three up here, and I'm going to use one downstairs in the living room. And the pillow covers came from Amazon as well. I would have ordered them from Timu, but I knew it wouldn't be here in time. But I love that. And the pillow covers that I grabbed are a little bit off, like they're not the same color, um, which was good. It was like a version of that color. So that was, I love it. And I decided this year to put some leaves across the top, which I didn't do last year either. It just, it just all came together so nice and it made me feel so good. You know what I mean? So yeah, I was very, I was very happy about it. And these lights light up. I feel like I got those from Amazon too. And it's battery operated. So it's just kind of going to sit up top. And I not just turn it on every time I come home from work now. And it looks so pretty. You told me about the hidden place. Something in the atmosphere. You're always here, you always say time to laugh. So have you guys pulled out your decor? Are you done decorating? Do you combine your fall and Halloween just all together at one time in September. What do you do? I try to break it up. <laughs> I really do. Just so that I'm not a crazy woman. But I had to take a little breaky break. I'm watching Y&R. 
drinking some coffee out of my new tumbler from the Dollar Tree. Yes. But now it's time for me to figure out what I want in the space. I am going to wipe some things down first over here. And then the ladder, the ladder I got from Amazon last year because I loved Kara so much. If you guys remember, I did Kara's room and, you know, I put all her books on it and it still looks really good. So, yeah, I was like, you know what? I think I want one, too, for my space. So, yes, on that. And I just think I was going to run out and grab me another lamp, which I still want to. But um, I said, for now, I'm just going to throw this on a riser. It's just, It was just too low. You know what I mean? But let me get the smell good in here. A little pumpkin spice something right in here. Let that flicker. A little bit and just kind of get me in the mood get the smells going on so I brought up all the decor from downstairs that I knew I wanted to use it was just you know a thing where I was going to actually put it So rocking the buffalo check in my space a little bit. I mean, that's just my twist. I love the black and white, and I feel like it could be paired with anything. The orange, you know, for the fall, the red, the green for Christmas, Easter, Valentine's Day. Everything pairs with the black and white buffalo check. So I just always go from there. Ah, you see my love shirt? Timu. It is so darn cute. I grabbed it from Timu. And um, this is the bookcase. Is it a bookcase? I guess you consider it a bookcase. Um, I keep saying ladder because of what I have downstairs in the dining room. But yeah, it fits perfectly in this space. It looks so nice next to the electric fireplace too. So like I said, I bought things from downstairs up here just to see you know where it was going to go that is the fall sign I grabbed oh and the Nomi's that I got from Walmart you guys know all of that in the store stuff right <laughs> is on the other channel in the cart so yeah you can see what all good good I picked up and where I got it from those are from Target Dollar Spot like three or four years ago Remember those? They're candles that look like, you know, to-go cups. So stinking cute. But I decided to move that. It was getting on my nerves. It, it didn't flow right. So I had to move um, my water thingy, my Ray Dunn. Yeah, I had to take that out of the space. And then I was like, you know what? That doesn't go either. But my buffalo check goes with my faux leather pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. Yes. Throw that right on the side. I'm good to go. Look at this. Boom. But I think I changed that out. I think I put the fall sign downstairs, which look forward to the whole house you know downstairs video will be on sunday i'm so excited for you to see how i decorate it and where i put everything yes so there's one of the throws that you know i washed up right so that goes in this space because you know i'm cozy over here Aww. You know, I love the pillow covers now. I love the fact that I can switch them out and keep it moving. I'm going to throw Tayamo on the other chair on the other side by hubby. And I felt like this was off. So, so I went and got the charger. Remember the Buffalo Check charger? I went and grabbed that and kind of rearranged some things. I like it so much better like this with that Buffalo Check. Yes, on the know me from all these. I'm thinking about you. Ooh. This is perfect. I do switch out that sign later, but I've left everything, you know, all my sprays. I just threw some pumpkins up there, some orange. Know me good, good, right? My buffalo check. Look, my tea, my pumpkin tea from the Dollar Tree. And yeah, look. Girl, that's perfect. That's all I need. Along with the sheets and everything. Look at that. Simple. I love it. 
And over on the nightstand, you see my AirPods and my Happy Planner. <laughs> I kept it simple on both sides, right? Little Dollar Tree good good. Yes. All right, I'm in the kitchen now, girl, about to do some muffins. So I grabbed some liners. My intention was to do a dozen. Girl, wait till you see what happened. <laughs> My intention was to do a dozen, um, so I got my liners. I think I grabbed like three different um, black and white ones, right? Because that's what I was feeling. And I wanted to use the Dollar Tree muffin thing. Yeah, this, the banana nut ones. I asked hubby which ones he wanted. So when I emptied the pack, I was like, I was like, wait a minute. That don't look like too much right going on. Maybe once I throw some good good in there, it might fill it out a little more. Mm -mm, it did not. But now it was banana nut. It had the nuts in it and everything. But I wanted a little more. I do like nuts. You know what I mean? So I was just crushing them up and while they falling out and I'm eating them off the counter. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> so I'm crushing them up just a little bit more. Right. So that was all good. So look, I'm still eating them off. The, I'm still eating them off the counter. So I'm gonna pour the milk in there. This is the only thing it required me to do. Just add milk. But girl, stop it. You know, I'm gonna add more good good. I already added in a little more walnuts and I had to throw in my lemon extract. Oh my goodness. It made it taste so good. Oh my goodness. But let me tell you, I should have used two packs because this whole thing right here, I was like, oh my goodness, I'm going to get one muffin out of this. <laughs> but it ended up being a half a dozen instead of a whole dozen. And I had to struggle with that. And I was like, do I even need my little cupcake thing? You know, so I was like, wait, maybe I could pour it. Mm -mm. So I scooped it out and they didn't. Oh, goodness. I just know what to do next time if I go with um, just you know, doing the quick and fast instead of measuring my own good, good, you know what I mean? But, oh my goodness, this was something else. But let me tell you, they were so good. They were so good. Sydney tore them up. Oh my goodness, they were so good. So definitely need to make some more. But you guys, yeah, that is it. This was the first fall, right? Rocking out in my bedroom. And I'm definitely going to see you guys on Sunday and we're going to do the entire downstairs. I'm so excited for you to see, you know, all the good, good I've been buying. Where is she putting this? What is she doing with this? So yes on that. I'm going to let y'all rock out to this. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to do a little taste test for y'all. Y'all going to be like, she is crazy. But all right, you guys, I will see you Sunday. Bye.